Hello everyone. So this is basically the assembly of bearing. So we'll see how to create exploded view and create bill of material for this assembly in Creo. So let us start. So here you can see one icon that is exploded view. So you can simply click on this icon to see the exploded view of parts, right? So this is called the automatic exploded view. If you want to create the exploded view manually, you can also create it. So for that you need to go to view manager and in view manager you will go to explode. So here you can see default explode. Here you need to create new explode. So click on a new and give the name for explode. Let's say explode 01. Now here new ex explode is created. So you need to simply right click on it and say edit position. Okay. So here I will select this cap. So after selecting the cap, you will see that this dragger will appear. So you can move this cap in x direction y direction or z direction so here i will move to z direction means in upward direction like this okay now i will copy this bolt to this cap so for that you will go to option copy position here just remove this now here it is saying component to move so you need to select all the components to move so i will select the bolt with the help of control button so you need to select all the bolt then you need to select copy position from so i will select cap and then say apply okay now next i can close this now select this bolt and move it upside select this also move upside like this you can place in explorer state so this is called a manual explorer view also you can move this bush outside like this and move this outside like this so in this way you can create the manually exploded view now here simply say ok now you need to right click on it and say save ok now here i will again edit it so right click edit position now here you can show the connection means where this bolt will be fitted you can show the connection for that bolt with respect to this cap and base so for that you will need to create the exploded lines over here so we'll first go to explode 9 we'll first set the exploded line setting so i will set it to solid font and select it to be leader apply close now click on this icon for the exploded line now select the connection because this bolt will move inside this so select this space now select the bolt and simply say apply now uh, sorry it's a wrong line created so simply right click on it and remove exploded line so i will create again the exploded line over here select this hole and this bolt and say apply now you can see the connection for the bolt so bolt will move like this in this assembly so exploded line is used to show the how to do assembly okay similarly you can show for this bush with respect to this face so simply select this face and this bush face apply here you can see exploded line is created that's look okay close now okay right click on this save ok close now in this way you can see we can create the manually exploded view 
also we can show the explode line for the parse assembly now we'll go for the drafting and in drafting we'll create the bill of material as well as balloon for whole assembly so for that go to file new now here select the assembly use default template drawing select the drawing use default template use drawing model file name so the drawing name will be same as that of the assembly name say ok now here I will select the empty sheet say ok now this will open the drafting workbench you can see over here so go to the general view no combined state ok click over here now here we need to create the exploded view so for that we will go to view state over here so here you can see the option explode components in a view click on it and assembly explode state so you have to select the explode 01 which you have created manually here and simply say apply ok so here you can see the assembly in exploded state now we'll just fit this exploded view in sheet so for that you can double click on it go to scale and here I will increase it to 1.5 apply ok 1.65 apply ok that looks good now I will delete this scale ok now here we need to create the bill of material for this whole assembly ok so in assembly there are four parts so we'll create the bill of material for these four parts so for that go to table go to here table and select the three column and two row table simply put over here you can put like this ok now here we need to go to repeat region here select the add and here select in second row first column and third column so select the first column then control press and select the second third column and then simply say done now double click on this here you can see that a report symbol will appear so in first column we know near the index or serial number so for that we will select index over here double click on this go to here assembly MBR and select the name so here in this column you will see the assembly part name and in third column double click go to RPT and we need to show the quantity so select here quantity okay. now again we will go to repeat region this time select the attribute select this whole row and select no duplicate done return simply say done now here you can see the serial number is created here the assembly part name and here the quantity for that part so here you can simply double click on this column and here you can type manually serial number and in this column you can type the part name part name and in this column you will type the quantity ok now simply select this whole table go to textile over here and here select the center and middle so no dimension it will be horizontal and it will be at middle simply say apply ok so here you can see the it will move to the center all the material now here you can see how to create the bill of material now how to create the balloon for this assembly 
we simply select the view here create balloon create balloon all so here you can see balloon is created so here you, you can see to this bolt second number is balloon is assigned and in bill of material you can also see second number is to bolt and there are six quantity of this bolt you can adjust the balloon as per your wish like this you can move wherever you want simply select it and move wherever you want select this move like this okay you can also adjust this arrow attachment you can select over here suppose I want over here okay so in this way bill of material and the exploded view is created you can simply add one more view over here double click over here and show the isometric view apply ok so here you can show the isometric view as well ok now you simply double click on this scale I will just increase to 1.85 apply ok now this looks good now so this is all about creating the exploded view and creating the bill of material hope you like this video thank you for watching